public housing, which has at minimum, that's without counting everybody, over 400,000 residents is bigger than all but a handful of cities in the United States, New York public housing, NYCHA. But no city has been neglected the way public housing has been. And our job is to turn that around, and we are at a crucial turning point where we can get it done. We have to start addressing the multi-billion dollar backlog in our problem of the neglect of investments, of capital investments in public housing. It's time. It's time to fix the pipes and the roofs and the boilers and the elevators and the leaks. Now, NYCHA and the city can't do it on their own. Can't do it on their own. And now we are at a crucial moment. We salute the fact that President Biden has put money into his American uh, jobs plan for public housing. It's a good start, but it ain't enough. The president called for $40 billion. We are calling for at least $80 billion, double what the president has called for. That will be money to deal with NYCHA's backlog, but also make this housing resilient and make this housing able to meet the climate needs of the 21st century. We must do that. And it's enough money to make sure when these when these when this is rebuilt, it's union jobs at good paying wages that do all the work. So it's sort of a triple, it's a triple um, home run. Not a triple. <laughs> a grand slam for things. Better housing, resilient housing that meets the climate needs of the 21st century, good paying union jobs, and a more prosperous, happy New York City. Okay, that's the point. Okay, good. So that's where we're at right now, folks. Um, it's not the time for half measures. We must seriously address these, and we have an opportunity in the American Jobs Plan that the President has proposed, and the four of us, and many, many more in New York City, New York State, and in the country, many more members of the Congress, and many more members of the Senate, are adding their voices to our pledge of more than $80 billion for our public housing. Absolutely. And that is an investment that will pay off. Okay? Let me just, I don't want to, they give me a lot of things to say. We have a lot of people who need to talk. So, today we're announcing, I am announcing as majority leader that one of my very top priorities in the American um, jobs plan is 80 plus. 80 plus. Originally we were 70, that was the capital needs, but we need to add in much more money for climate, for resilience, for sustainability. And that's why we're going higher. But that's the kind of investment that uh, the American Jobs Plan stands for. Public housing shouldn't be left out of that. It should be included and a centerpiece of it. Okay. Senator, you can hold up the point with the picture with everybody behind you. I will. Thank you, Angelo. <laughs> you think I'm in charge? <laughs> okay. All right. Let me just see if I'm leaving anything out that I want to say here. There's so much. Oh, yeah. We have seen cutback after cutback. The Bush administration cut back. Previous administrations cut back. The state cut back. The city cut back. And that left the over 400,000 residents, and it's many more than 400,000, just, just hurting. They are hardworking people. They are good people. And we want to make sure they have a decent place to live once and for all. So uh, join me, everyone. We all have our signs and we'll hold it up. We have a rally in front. Got any more signs? Wait, we got a few more. Page Tepke, the great Page Tepke. Okay. Load them up. Load them up. All right. Can we hold them over our heads? Yes. One, two, three. Fund NYCHA now. 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 now. On to victory, everybody.